a cone-laying vehicle stationary on a road near Catterick in North Yorkshire. One of its cameras shows the road behind, another the maintenance men on the back of the truck. A lorry is approaching, its headlights visible in the distance. It's heading straight towards the maintenance vehicle. With only seconds to spare, a road worker leaps to safety, and then this. The impact shunts the highway's vehicle 50 yards down the road. It's incredible, and, and, and unfortunately it's happened more and more times across the country. The locations are different, the timings are different, the weather, the, the traffic flows are different, but we're still seeing vehicles hit the back of this, this, this vehicle, and it, it, it beggars belief. More flashing lights have now been added to the trucks and an alarm to warn workers and the vehicle approaching of an imminent collision. The red lights you see are activated at 150 metres away. It's a red light, it's another physical stimulus that hopefully the driver will see and take the action required. Secondary is an audio warning for the road workers to say you've got potentially three seconds now to take some action. And there are even intelligent traffic cones now. If one of these is knocked over, it sets off an alarm where the men are working and warns them of the danger, just like this. It seems like this that the highways agency and its contractors are doing all they can to prevent. The vast majority of drivers and motorists are careful, they're considerate, and it's in their own interest to be so. But it only takes one. It only takes one who's, who's just drowsy and nodding off. And the consequences are absolutely horrific, and that's the bit we're trying to protect against. They know some of the reasons for the accidents. They certainly know the consequences. Now the people in charge of all this are determined to keep their workforce as safe as possible. Derek Proud, ITV News.